the movie menu. Movie menu, movie menu. The movie menu. Hi, I'm Mike Stand, and joining me today is Dan the Man Munoz. And we are Movie Menu Spotlight, where we spotlight our favorite indie or foreign film of the week. Yes. So our spotlight today is the movie Wild Tales, coming from Argentina, directed by Damian Zifron. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to say, orale. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not Argentina. To do with Argentina at no. all. But. <laughs> That's, <Racist>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only Spanish I know. Really. The director has a very uh, unique comedic and dark style that it is reminiscent of like the same freshness that you would get from Pulp Fiction. And they're in these nice, compacted, uh, self-contained short stories. So we have six. There's, yeah, six that, that revolve around the theme of vengeance and violence. Yes. And you might be wondering why we're spotlighting it because this movie is nominated for Best Foreign Picture. Uh, however, this is the underdog of the Best Foreign Pictures that we feel that it's worth mentioning to the mass public. We have a fun little airplane story, which I don't I don't want to give too much away. It's basically the introduction. So after yeah. watching this film, you get the tone of what the rest of the movie is going to be. Yes. And it has a dark comedy to it. And there's it's very entertaining. It's a little over the top, but you know what? That's what makes it fun. So in the, our second story, we'll set it up for you. It's a it's a restaurant, and the waitress ends up meeting a man who basically it's from her past. It's from her past that basically ruined her her family, and and he doesn't recognize her. So that's that's the setup there. And what wh what would you like to do that to that person <laughs> if you if you met really, them? It's it true. It really years. actually makes you question: What would you do if you were in that situation? Uh, there's another story, the, the, the third one, which is about this guy who's driving uh in this like it's, desert type it's place. like road rage to the extreme yeah um and there's this guy the the guy has a really nice car really nice clothes he's like and the guy in front of him who won't let him pass is like this run down uh blue collar type of guy with an old truck or a cold yeah. car it's totally different and and it's almost like they have this you know, it's like the differences of each other. It's it basically turns into like Peter Griffin versus the full grown chicken. chicken? <laughs> where they just, yeah, it's just basically. It's, it's really fun to watch. It's totally fun to watch. And uh, so the next story it is uh, is my favorite one, actually. Okay. It deals with the tow truck. Uh, so this man <coughs> keeps getting his car towed. And there's really no signs of saying can't park here or not. And he has to deal with with this tow truck company and what he does is is makes you also wonder what would i do if i kept on getting my car towed all the time so i know it's really i really enjoyed it yes the next short is about an accident so it's basically the super rich guy who has this son who gets drunk and and kills somebody and uh and they're and throughout the whole short is just they're trying to negotiate a deal to save the son so and um it's 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 fun to watch how everyone's trying to soak them, you know. <laughs> trying to milk, and then yeah, the end result is really interesting. Uh, and then the final story, which uh, is my favorite. Yeah, go ahead and talk about. Yeah, that. yeah, it's a uh, it's basically a wedding that all the bad things that could happen at a wedding, and it just gets crazier and crazier. It's <laughs> and it's funny because it seems like each movie keeps on topping topping each other with the uh, of the vengeance and the. The outlandishness of it but it's fun to watch it's so good to watch and for me the pacing of this film we're being six films and it being over two hours for me it felt fast like each one had its own uh different length i don't think they're all the same length yeah no. um but to me every single one was 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 nicely paced each one i was like wow it's already over oh wow we're already at the next one oh we moved on to the next one it was really <laughs> cool i was not I, I was always wanting more, but I was satisfied with what I got. What about you? What did you think? No, I agree. The pacing was really good. The stories were really good. I think the director did a great job. Yeah. Also, this also being produced by Pedro Almodovar, who did who directed Volver. Love so, Volver. That's such a good movie. So that alone, with that association, it kind of lets you know that this is going to be a great film, which it is. When I saw this movie, I, I didn't look up anything about the film. 
So what I assume, because we had six different stories, it would be six different directors and six different writers. And then to my surprise, when I actually saw it, and it said there was only one director and one writer, I was like, wow, this is very impressive. Yes. And for him yeah. to just think of this idea, oh. on top of it said all of them, yeah. is so they, worth watching. And they all have their own, un- each each short has its own unique style. It's So you, you wouldn't, uh, it's very easy to, to think that it might be different directors, but you're actually just seeing shades, six shades. And the great thing is about <laughs> the character development for every single movie is so strong. Like they're not, no one is one note. Everyone is fleshed out, realistic, and you relate to every single person. You may not want to do exactly what they do in the film, <laughs> per se, but it's always wonder. You always it's like the what if? What if I actually went to that extreme? Would this happen? And so I enjoyed. I enjoyed the part. Same here. So go watch Wild Tales. Go watch it now. Which is showing at Lemley and ArcLight. Which I, I saw in ArcLight, ArcLight Hollywood, or specifically. Go, or go online and look up the Showtime to the nearest theater that are showing in. And, yeah. and go support it. It's really worth the watch. I agree. All right. We are Movie Many Spotlights. Thank you for for joining us. And thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mike, for, uh, for spotlighting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thanking me for spotlighting, Dan. You're I really welcome. appreciate well, it. You're welcome. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. Go 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 watch Wild Tales now and okay. enjoy it. And thank us later in the comments below. And also, if you want to see our spotlight of last week, which was uh, what we do in the shadows, click on this link here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, click above here. And for you uh, mobile devices, uh, the links to our previous videos will be in the description. And also, subscribe button is below the video. So, bye. See you later. Movie menu, movie menu, movie menu, movie menu.